it's time to talk about authority. So authority is about the author. Authority's root is author. So it's about the person who wrote the article. And it's really important to consider some key points when looking into the authority. So the first thing is, what can you find about the author online? So if we were to go back over here to the 3D printer example we looked at in the last video, we have the author over here of Signe Brewster. So she's writing about 3D printing. So why should I trust her? I shouldn't just trust her or anyone in, just because they wrote something, nor should you trust your teachers or your parents or any article that you read until you know about who's writing it so you know why they're writing it. So I'm going to take a look at Signe over here and I'm going to go try and find some information out about her to try and learn about her as the authority. So we're going to tackle that right now. So I put her name into Google and she popped up a bunch of times. So I want to talk to you about something very important right now. So over here, this is her Twitter page. So anything that she puts on there is claimed by her. So if I were to go look on her Twitter page, she is claiming that she is a staff writer covering drones, robots, virtual reality, smart home, and steam toys. Okay, I could claim I'm a master in kung fu, but you are only trusting me at my word. You have to check elsewhere of what your qualifications are. So uh, let's go look deeper into this author. Just having someone claim something is not enough. So we have over here techcrunch.com, which is a website. So let's see what it says about her. And it says that she is in their San Francisco office about 3D printing augmented reality. She earned a bachelor in science in life science communication in 2012 from the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Okay, so she went to college here and got a bachelor of science in life science communication. So what is life science communication? If Is that something that allows her to talk about 3D printing? And better yet, who owns TechCrunch? Let's just double check this real quick. So I'm going to copy this over here, and I'm just going to make sure that there is something online about her graduating from that university. I imagine that this EDU page over here, 2012, Madison. Okay, yeah, she, she went there. So the fact that it's on an educational page in terms of the authority over here, and also in terms of the relevance of the topic and also of the currency, like it, it all adds up. So I believe she went there and she got that degree and she's an authority who is about the life sciences. Now, is life science related to 3D printing? So I just did a quick Google search, life science and 3D printing, um, and 3D printing in the life sciences beyond, 3D printing in life sciences. It seems like it's a topic that's related. So I trust that she got a degree in a topic relating to what she's writing about. So that, as an authority, makes me trust her a little bit more. So this is not something you should do for every author of every article. I certainly don't. But you also, if you're really trying to get accurate, valid information, you should not trust us, anyone and just read it for context and information. And if you really want to be sure it's good, you got to do that research. But I don't always look into the author. Sometimes I just uh, look for the informational value in what someone's writing and I take for myself what I like and then I challenge it. Um, so the next one is, has the author published on the subject before? Great question. Let's see if this is an article she has written about. So on her page on TechCrunch, the latest from her, she's written, uh, looking at Uber self-driving cars, Uber, drone battling, cotton plants, experiments, 3D printing. So it seems like she posts on it a lot. So even if she didn't have a degree on it, perhaps she has experience because it's something that she continually looks into. And this is a factor that's very overlooked that I think is important. Let's pretend you were going out to look for a trainer to help you get into shape. And the trainer you found was 400 pounds. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, dude, you're 400 pounds. How could you be a good trainer and get me into shape? Obviously, you don't even take care of your own body. So why should I trust you? And the authority there, the author, the trainer, sometimes he may not embody that. Or they, they may not have a degree in the subject that you're working in. But sometimes results speak for themselves. So if this trainer has references to 40 people that all got into really, really good shape under the tutelage and guidance of this person, then that almost speaks for themselves where the reputation and the results speak that they are maybe not degreed. They don't have a uh, college level thing saying that they're certified, but the fact that they're successful and those results can speak for themselves sometimes means that makes sense. So don't only ever look for a degree just if 
people are having success from that, that's almost good enough. In fact, it is. So in varying levels of importance, what can you find about them? Are they published? What credentials do they have? Or do they have experience and success? And do they have any re relevant affiliations with a respective university or organization? If they just write on Fox News, probably should dig into who they are. So that is the authority, guys. Go summarize what you learned.